Today's true story is just sick. It's about sick people living among us. Among you. On June 7th, 2023, a 36-year-old man named Umar Abdullah walked into his bedroom in Tampa Bay, Florida and opened all the windows. He couldn't really breathe. There was a smell inside his apartment that was driving him wild and crazy. Omar and his wife Samir and their 10 month old daughter had just gotten back from a trip down Ohio. They didn't know what that smell in the apartment was. It smelled like chemicals. But they remembered one thing. Their building apartment was always well kept and they remembered telling the property manager they're going to a trip down Ohio. So they thought Maybe he came inside and did some work, even though it's weird not telling them. As the smell started to fade away, Samir lit a candle and they just forgot about it. Umar started to unpack and Samira took their daughter into the kitchen. She put the daughter on a high chair and started to cook dinner. Then Samira would honey, call for Umar. Come hey for honey, second, come here for a sec. Umar went into the kitchen. What's going on, honey bun? She told him, look at your daughter. She's behaving very strangely. And now their daughter was such a good girl. She never acted that way. Umar said, I know what's going on. It's probably all these windows that are open. It's making it so hot in here. Let's close the windows and let the AC cool the apartment down. They did that. And for an hour, they tried to put their daughter to bed to sleep. But she just quit. And they themselves started to get headaches. They told themselves, this is just probably from the trip. We just need some rest and we'll be all right in the morning. They finally got their daughter to sleep and they took some medicines for their headaches and called it a night and went to bed. But when morning came, everything was much worse. Samira she was just basically laying down. Umar, Samira, the man was just out of right? it. And their daughter, <laughs> poor girl, she was just vomiting all over the place. As days passed by, it just kept on getting worse and worse. What's going on here? They told themselves they probably got sick in Ohio and they just needed a couple days and they'll be all right. A week later, on June 7th, Omar went into his daughter's room and picked her up and he would see his daughter's hair all over the pillow. He cried out for Samira, Samira, come in here. Samira was too tired, but she had to go see what was going on. She went into the room. Hey, oh, oh, what's going on, guys? Why are you calling me? He told her, look at your daughter's pillow. She's gone bald. She told him, oh, oh, let me see. Babies do that sometime. So they googled it. No, no 10 month old baby does that. So they said, let's call the doctor and take her to the doctor. Omar told Samira, give me five minutes. I gotta take a shower first. He went and took a shower. And as he was shampooing his hair, he would see all his hair falling. He was going bald too. And he remembered that day when they came into the apartment, that strong chemical smell. He said something must be going on here. He called the landlord and the landlord told him, when you were not in the apartment, no one went inside your apartment. But don't worry, we'll take care of this. You probably have a gas leak or mold or something. We'll check it out for you. The landlord was a nice guy. He sent over all the inspectors you could think of, but they couldn't find anything with the apartment. Umar was like, I don't understand what's going on here. Then he told Samir, you know what? I got an idea. I'm going to call the fire department. 
So he did call the fire department. And the fire department would send over their hazmat team. And they checked the whole apartment. But they couldn't find anything wrong with the apartment. They felt it was completely safe. Now two weeks passed since returning from their trip. And Samira's hair was falling. The baby's hair was falling. Umar's hair was falling. And they all felt very lousy. And the doctors didn't know what was wrong with them. The fire department and all the inspectors didn't find anything wrong with their apartment. But all that would change on June 25th, about two weeks and a half later, since returning from their trip. Umar would discover something about that chemical smell. This warehouse frightens me. Fear of what's coming. <laughs> Guys, I need your help. Please, don't let me go at these stories alone. Please, like this video. And please, subscribe to this channel. God bless you. On June 25th, Umar was just chilling like a villain on his couch. And all of a sudden, he would get a strong whiff of a strong chemical smell. Whew! What was that? But this time, he decided to follow the smell. And he went throughout his apartment. That smell led him outside his apartment door. He opened the door and couldn't find anything. He closed the door, and right when he was about to leave, he said, let me check something for a second. He would put his hand above the door, and right underneath the door, he would find something. So he went, and he told his wife, Samira, what he found. Umar would tell his wife, girl, I got a plan. So they waited until late at night, when the building was completely quiet. They opened their door very quietly. There was a fake plant outside their apartment. Umar would plant a camera in that plant to see what's going on here. Two days later on June 27, at 5.30 p.m., a very strong chemical smell came inside the apartment. Everyone started coughing. <coughs> I can't breathe. Omar went and opened the door and grabbed the camera he hid and went in his office to see what was going on. And what he saw shocked him. He came outside his office looking very scared. His wife saw him, asked him what was going on. He told her, grab the baby. We all got to go to the hospital right now. This is very sick. And he would call 911 and report what he saw on the camera. Two days earlier, what had made Omar hide that camera inside that fake plant was that he had discovered a lot of liquid underneath his door. When he retrieved that camera and saw the footage, he would see a man coming with a syringe and putting chemicals underneath Omar's door. What a sick bastard! Check out the footage yourself. The police rushed to the apartment right underneath Omar and arrested 36-year-old Zhu Meng Li, a married father of two, doing his PhD in chemistry from the University of South Florida. Samira and Umar actually thought Zhu Meng Li was a very nice guy because when their daughter was born, he gave him a gift for the baby. But then everything changed. He became obsessed with the noise coming from that apartment. He actually stopped living his own life and was living 
their life just focused on them. He went to the homeowners association and reported the noise many times. He even went to the police and reported the noise. Samir and Umar tried their best to be quiet as possible, but zooming Lee decided to take the whole family out. Zooming Lee was studying chemistry, so he knew what he was doing. He would mix methadone and hydrocodone and other chemicals and put it with a syringe underneath their door for about a month. Umar, Samir, and their baby all recovered because they were quick thinkers and put that camera in that fake plant. But if they weren't quick thinkers, it would have been a different story. As for Zooming Lee, his case is still being investigated, but it was paused as he was deported back to China. But if he ever makes his way back to America, he would be arrested immediately. I'm Ben Nacioni, and I want to personally thank each one of you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys appreciate me. Please comment your opinion about this story below. And please, like, share, and subscribe. God bless you. I'm out of here.